Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a Chanel unboxing. I am so excited because this is an item that's been on my wish list for quite some time and that's mainly because I'm very, very specific with what I want. So the fact that I was able to find it, it just, it makes me so happy. But we are not stopping there because I have two more little bags that I'm going to open together with you guys because these are the gifts that my lovely, lovely Chanel SA gave me during the festive season. They are not big unboxings, but honestly, anything that is a gift from Chanel, I'll take it. So let's start this video. Okay, so here is the first little bag and this was kind of like a party favor bag that they gave to me after the Chanel Christmas party and it was so much fun they had a DJ and the DJ was actually located next to the shoes so if you've seen my vlogs you can kind of imagine where he was located anyway they had everything they had champagne cocktails and catering lovely desserts so it was a lot of fun and there was also a photo corner in which you could basically take your picture and then they would immediately print it and put it in a card like this which i found super cute as well i'm not gonna show it to you because i took the picture with my essay and I don't want to reveal her identity but yeah it's a it's a cool thing that they did and then inside we also have the Chanel Gabrielle perfume this is yeah Elder perfume and this is 50 milliliters I have not tried Gabrielle before but you know let's see it's still very nice and then also there was a lipstick so this is the i am not going to read this because if someone who's french is watching this video they their ears will burn so but yeah this is the lipstick and it's in the shade which shade is this 858 i believe that this is a red let me open it the classic packaging and yeah, it is indeed a red lipstick. Can't really go wrong with a lipstick and perfume for Christmas. So this is really nice. Moving on to unboxing number two. And this was actually a gift from my SA. And when I tell you that I was shocked, it's an understatement because I was so happy that I was able to go to the Chanel Christmas party because it was so much fun. And then on top of that, I got the Chanel Christmas party party favors, which I'm already over the moon about. So to get a gift, it was, it really caught me by surprise. And I was just standing there like, really, is this, is this really for me? Because I'm not a Chanel VIP, you know, but yeah, he, here I am with my gift. And this is actually the first year when I have Chanel Christmas packaging. I have never in my life bought anything from Chanel in December because everything that I want by December is normally already sold out from the, um, what is the collection that comes out in November? Cruise, right? It's Cruise. So yeah, if you don't buy something when after the collection comes out, it's basically impossible to get it after. So I've never gotten Christmas packaging. And now here I am, look at me now with my Chanel Christmas packaging. I am rambling. Let me show you what's in it, finally. I actually saw that there were some people on Facebook that complained about the fact that there was no Camellia this year, but I actually think that the pearl is much cooler. Or maybe I'm just excited to get Christmas packaging in general for the first time. Here is the box and here we have another pearl on the packaging. So I guess if you bought something during the Christmas season, you basically have two of these pearls. Okay, so I took it out of the box and let's see if it's going to fit in the screen. Yes, it does. So we have beige over here with some black and white CCs, more beige. Over here, it says Coco, black and white CCs, beige stripes, uh, mustardy yellow color or more like a golden mustard color. 
more white on this side it says chanel more black and white cc's and some more stripes it also has a burgundy trim this is a very interesting shape it's like in a diamond shape does it have a particular name please if you know let me know in the comment section below because i am not a big specialist in silk scarves so if you know please let me know as well i'm very curious about it and i don't really know how to use this do you use it like maybe i could use it as a headband maybe no this 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 looks horrible i can't take myself seriously or maybe around the neck i don't know share your ideas in the comment section below because it feels really nice i love the color palette maybe i could tie it around the handbag i don't know or around the hat like a straw hat but then where do the where do these sharp edges go i don't know i'm confused <laughs> but still it's cute i'll i'll find a way to use it for sure okay and finally here is the gift that i got for myself i can't i can't i need to i need to open it okay so this is something that i saw on the chanel app months ago when it was first released but you know how on the chanel app they don't really have that many pictures and nothing really looks as good as it does in real life so i wasn't a hundred percent sure about this item but then after like a few months i passed by the store and i saw them on a mannequin yes it's a them it's a pair of shoes and i saw them on a mannequin but of course it was the last size so i thought that there was no hope but after two months of waiting my amazing essay made miracles happen and got me my dream pair of boots okay i'll have to take this out somehow behind the camera because it is very very big i can't i don't know what's happening everything is falling the packaging is falling apart um i am a mess i am going to put the packaging back on so that we can do a proper <laughs> unboxing and let's pretend that none of that happened so here is the big box my favorite part of any unboxing two dust bags i don't have the patience to open it carefully so let's just rip it apart here they are my dream chanel boots let me take one out so that you can see them better okay so now you can see them much better but it's still going to be hard because these are high boots so i am very close to the camera and i can't really properly show them but they are incredible they are very classic but they have these like little subtle chanel elements which i absolutely love so for example over here we have the quilting and over here there is like a little what is it debossed is it debossed embroidered chanel cc logo so subtle and so perfect so perfect for my wardrobe and the other one i believe is exactly the same i think i need to get rid of all of this wrapping because it's making a lot of noise i have both of the boots ready now so i already showed you this one and like i said this one is exactly the same so we have the cc's on the outside of the boot and on the inside we have the signature very timeless classic chanel quilting how beautiful okay so now that we've seen the both of them together i think i'll just hold on to this one for now so let's talk about it are they comfortable yes they are so comfortable which is something that i wasn't expecting i was fully prepared for them to feel uncomfortable but they totally surprised me i don't have a narrow foot and i don't have skinny calves 
which is something that is usually problematic for my feet and my calves for such type boots, right? So I had zero expectations. I thought that my foot is not even going to be able to fit in them. So when it did, and on top of that, they were comfortable, I was sure that this is definitely the dream pair of boots that I have been waiting for. The only thing that it's kind of missing for me is a zipper. A zipper would have been nice because now it's going to be basically the same situation as I have with my Hermes jumping boots. Getting in is easy, getting out not so easy. Sometimes I need my husband's help. So yeah, hopefully with these it's not going to be required as often because this part is much more comfortable on these boots than it is on the Hermes jumping boots. Another thing that we have to talk about is the fact that there is no hardware, zero. So I can wear these with silver hardware, I can wear these with gold hardware, with rose gold hardware, with beige gold, with any hardware. They are going to match absolutely everything, which is basically why I love them so much. Styling these is going to be a day at the park because I literally can't think of anything that these boots would not match. So that was a huge pro for me. And then I also really love the sole of these boots because it has a little bit of heft to it, but it's also not very chunky, you know? It's still very nice and clean and timeless. So I love that. And I also love that it's kind of protecting the leather from scuffs, or at least I hope it will. And it also has a little block heel. It's not very high, so if you love high heels, this is definitely not for you. But if you love small heels and just a little bit of extra height to kind of slim your legs, then this is just perfect. So yeah, these are my new Chanel boots and I absolutely love them. I know that some of you may be looking at them and thinking like, hmm, why was this a dream of mine? Because they are really quite simple. But you know when you imagine the perfect pair of boots and then you see them in real life and they actually exist? That's how I felt when I saw them. They are simple, they are timeless, they are classic, and they are also very me, very my style. So this is definitely going to be a forever pair for me and I can't help but to love them. One last thing before I end this video, size and price. Okay, two last things. So as regards to size, I went with my, let's call it true Chanel size, because normally I'm a size 40, but with Chanel I can be 40, 40 and a half or 41. I got these in a 40 and a half and lately I feel like that's my true Chanel size. I think that at Chanel, I'm a 40 and a half, so I would recommend going with your usual Chanel size. And as regards to the price, these cost 1,800 euros, which sounds like a lot of money until you hear that Chanel dad sandals now cost 1,750. So this actually seems like a really good deal. And considering the cost per wear that I'll probably get from wearing these boots, I think that the price is actually incredible. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do love talking about fashion. So let's stay in touch and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, stay safe.